master's collection of articles. In 1990X, the principal of each elementary, Mr. A, reported to local police that his son, age 9, was missing. The police organized a huge search, even into the forest by H. Castle, but were unable to locate him. Mr. A was famous for helping out at an orphanage, and his missing son was adopted from there. Public information on the missing person's case. The boy's physical characteristics are height 3.2, small and slender, has short hair, was wearing a white shirt and navy shorts when he went missing, often mistaken for a girl, usually seen playing by gir with girls and enjoys, and enjoys wearing makeup, always carries toy makeup with him in his pouch. Post-incident gossip article. Mr. A, the lost child's father, has resigned from his post as principal of H Elementary and is moving out of uh, out of H City. A man of importance in the, in the area, he's been plagued with slander that has affected his family. Some rumors claiming he is a pedophile of, or question his sexuality. This horrible accusation ignore his human rights. An article on the boy's background. After the missing boy's mother passed away, he was placed in an orphanage having no other family. The two were extremely close. A neighbor shares, one day the boy wore his mother's makeup to show his friends only to be teased and bullied by them. His mother rushed up with a mirror, had him look at it, and told him he was cute. Other articles related to the disappearance. Many people disappeared between, the boy when, between when the boy went missing and the school closed. Among them are the boy's homeroom teacher and that woman I saw in the underground room. There's a theory that he may have sought help from adults while he was being abused with no success. After death, his angry, dis his angry despair created Hahiko, the spirit that attacks adults. Are you retiring to bed? Good night. Another night greets me. It's been three days since the investigation, and not one glimmer of hope for me. Time idols by his death draws even closer to claim me. The mark that brings death. The only way to escape it is to defeat the spirit that gave it to me. But I have no clue where that spirit is right now. Maybe things would be different if that specialist Sayakujo was alive. A knock breaks the my train of thought. How long are you planning on sleeping? You're pretty relaxed for a guy who could die soon. The ex-detective Satoru Mashita. The other mark bearers left the mansion, but he stayed behind. Mary was the cause. I guess she asked him to help as he was leaving. She went against Sayakuja wishes by doing that, but it seems it was for my sake. But I don't know about Mashita. Even if he was asked to stay, he has no reason to agree. What's that look? That happy has stayed behind? Cut that out, which is creepy. Flatter me all you want, but I won't forget you drove without a license. He's got a bad mouth, as usual. His two intentions aside, I have to say, I'm honestly grateful for his help. My amnesia could hit without warning, so I can't go out whenever I want. He's been going around gathering information in my place. I saw some people from the force. Still no rock is over H Elementary. But wait a second, that guard went missing. His company should be notified. That company is exactly the issue. It's run by Yakuza thugs who have their eyes on the labor department. They don't want the police involved. Plus, in a shitty company like that, people up and walk out all the time. 
Yamashita, that was his name. Everyone thinks he hop and split. I hear that's why they're having a hard time finding a replacement. If you didn't know the school was haunted, it'd just be another abandoned building. The government wouldn't need to rush to find a new guard. The man lived alone, so a missing persons report won't be filed soon. The school most likely won't come under suspicion until then. Uh, that's it for my report. He covered a lot of ground in a short time, makes detectives of sure handy. Did you bring up the mark or spirits when you were asking around? Do you think I'm an idiot? They'd be calling the lonely being. Even if the kids or I to bring them up would honestly believe us. Why waste my breath? Exasperated, he shrugs. Searching the mansion was on you. So, did you find something? I came up blank as well. Though I've only gone through half so far. And some of the rooms were locked. Stuck without a warrant. Like you wait for something like that. I swallow the words before they come out. Oh yeah, Mary's asking for you. You should get going. I have been waiting for you. Mary is sitting primarily on the couch, the same as always. It appears you are having a difficult time with your investigation. I do wish I could be of more use to you. I know you can sense mark bearers. Can you sense spirits too? If they were to come onto the grounds, I believe I could, yes. That doesn't sound particularly useful. Do you have any other abilities or powers? Indeed. I can view the vague shape of the course of a person's fate. Like predicting the future? Oh no, nothing quite so extreme. It is more akin to fortune telling. It may or may not come to pass. Mm, I get it. That's why what you predicted earlier didn't actually happen. Did Mary tell you something? The truth you're seeking can be found here or some such. Like a fool, I fell for it so convinced. I'm such an idiot. A loud knock sounds at the door. A visitor is in the in, a visitor in the dead of night. A mark bearer? I open the door, and the visitor strides in. It's a shady-looking young man in a uniform delinquents these days tend to wear. He smirks at me, clearly feeling superior. This place could you mention? I got business with some Saya chick. No way you're her, huh? He narrows his eyes, staring suspiciously. Damn, that right. You guys know her though, yeah? Would you hear me out? Introduction are quickly done. His name's Sho Nagashima. And as we'd guessed, he's got a mark. He rolls up his right sleeve to show us, and yup, the red mark is burned in. And I call freak friend said something. Like it gives you amnesia for real? Yeah, that's right. I can't even remember my real name. You're kind of too calm for all that. Bet you pull a fast one on me. That grace, but that reaction's normal. But if he's not going to believe the rumors, then he had no reason to come. Why is he here then? Huh. Rumors are just that. Amnesia or dying because of some mark. That's kind of book craziness. Every word of it is true. Was that a girl voice? The 
there is a saying, the truth is stranger than fiction. They are two sides of the same coin. Mary begins, begins explaining. I'm sure she figured it would be the fastest way to convince him. You got some damn speaker set up somewhere, don't you? I don't take kindly to threats. He peers closely at Mary. Such a mechanism does not exist, Lord Shu. No way! He yells pathetically, his eyes wide, and suddenly falls flat on his ass. It seems that, despite appearances, this punk is terrified of ghosts and monsters. His tough act is likely a cover. After that, he meekly pays full attention to Mary as she speaks. He listens quietly, his face pale, as she tells him about the mark and spirits. By the time she finishes explaining, his face is devoid of color. Now, Lord Shu, have you not already experienced the beginnings of memory loss? Yeah. I don't think he's used to marry yet. His face is rather stiff. My memory has always been crap, so I thought I was imagining things. But then it started getting so bad that it was just ridiculous. I got his a cold friend, yeah. Told him about my scar, the mark. And it scared the shit out of me. Showed me an article that said it was all that scar thing's fault. So now I'm here. Mo mentioned seeing an article by Sayakuju in a magazine too. It's so cool, some monster, the hell, this is crazy. Why did it have to happen to me? Not believing it is normal. But if you don't, you'll die. If you don't want to kick the bucket, figure out how you got the mark. Even if your memory has gone bad, you should at least remember that. I'm not that far gone, thanks. I'm positive I got it in the forest by H Castle. I know I did. I mean, it does have a rumor about the place being cursed, so... We should probably ask him some more about it. Ligger's forest west of the city. Wait, doesn't everyone know that? Even kids do. But I've lost my memory. Maybe that's why I don't know about it. The place is the city's garbage dump. Bunch of nasty rumors about it. There's illegal industry waste dumping there like all the time. It's not just objects either. They say a black car once dumped a young woman's body there. A new mother strangled her key there because she couldn't take care of it. There's tons more rumors like that, whether or not any of them are true. I heard some of those too. Like the lost kid who was eaten by a dog and the olive on his torso. Or the murderer hides out there and kills anyone who gets near. The two of them happily exchange stories. Apparently, while he hates ghosts, he's more than fine with that kind of stuff. I've hit up the edge of the forest a few times, never walked in. No one with half a brain goes there. What should I ask next? Shoe stiffens like a board. I hate that supernatural crap. Just talking about it freaks me out. What a wimp. Rumors exist for a reason. That place is famous is a famous suicide spot. Fifty people die there a year, so they say, and that's just what they find. Once there was a mass suicide. It has its fair share of grisly sorry. Shu's eyes are white. It looks like he's swallowed a bug. What should I guess next? I was obviously on my bike, man. Place is totally empty at night, so it's perfect for driving around. 
Riding around, free as a bird, helps me clear my mind. Before you ask, yes, I have my license and no illegal modes. Huh, is that so? We don't need another person floating low. One is enough. I smile wryly. Who would have thought this kid would be on the straight and narrow? That day I was clear in my head when my bike broke down. I stopped to check it out, then suddenly I've got this car. Mm, I doubt we'll get any more out of shoot. No info on the spirit, then. You haven't forgotten anything? No keeping secrets now. Which strong aiming me? Hold your horses, I'm thinking. He's complaining, but I can see he's really coming through his memories. There was something. It wasn't a gas or nothing, but I did spot something weird. Over by the side of the road, I saw this huge man. A giant? It wasn't just some tree's shadow. Honestly, I'm not real sure. The place was pretty dark and I only saw it for a second. It sounds pretty iffy. Is that info really reliable? May I interject? In truth, there are a number of supernatural rumors set there. One happens to corroborate Lord Shu's story. The rumor of Shimi O. Sounds like Mary has an idea. Could you tell us more about it? Of course, Lord Ichigo. I shall tell you the story of Shinio. Hey, have you heard of that rumor? That one about the weird giant man? He's covered in black splotches, so people call him Shimio, the spotted man of the forest. I've heard he asks everyone he meets a question. Do you like bees? A college student who heard the rumor decided to go to the forest to see, and the man covered in splotches really did appear. Do you like bees? The students laughed. Yeah, sure, I like them. And then? Let's raise some then. In your body. Shinio asks those he meets a single question, then kills them using his drill. That might be none other than the figure you saw, Lord Shu. However, I have no proof. Then we'll have to gather evidence. Let's get ourselves to the forest. Investigation required legwork. There is no hesitation in Mashta. After facing Hanahiko, he knows full well what spirits are capable of. Is this his training and experience as a police detective? Hey now, you serious? Going there in the middle of the night? You guys have totally lost it. What? Me? So an elementary school kid and a high schooler were tougher than you? You're that much of a wimp. What'd you say? Ain't no scaredy cat. Hey, old man, take me with you instead of him. If that huge guy really is some monster, I'll pound him to dust. He is easy to manipulate. You settle on a destination. Please head to the forest by H Castle once you are ready. 
Your first goal is to identify the spirit that bestowed the mark. Best wishes for your investigation. The forest and Shimio. The forest is shrouded by strange events, suicides and body dumping and the like. It's scared of the casual visitor. Only the occasional test of courage brings a foolish kid inside. The paths are shaded at all hours with thick trees, so it's easy to become lost. Among the rumors swirling about this forest is one of the bizarre one of the bizarre men. Known as the Spider Man or Shimi O, he is covered in dark splotches and asks all he meets if they like bees. If they say yes, he attacks them while laughing maniacally. He sounds like you thunder, you're thunder crazy, but I guess he's the next spirit we'll face. At any rate, we'll have to head to the forest to investigate. My damn it, why? Shu throws himself into the passenger seat and mumbles an endless litany of complaints. I really want to tell him to shut up, but I'm pretty sure that'll only make things worse. It's only natural for a guy his age. Hey old man, you got a smoke? I blink in surprise. A cigarette? Um I instinctively put my hand in my pocket, but then I come to my senses. You are not holding enough for that yet. Shut up, I'm 19 already, it's fine. 19? But you're still in high school? Now I've done it. I'm overcome with regret the instant I say it, but I can't take it back now. Well, excuse me for repeating a grade. Looks like I touched on a sore subject, even though that wasn't my intention. The atmosphere in the car was bad enough, and now I've made it worse. I need to change the subject. So, are you in a club or anything? You look pretty fit, so maybe baseball or... Yeah, I played, but I quit. My emergency save just swerved into dangerous territory. Broke my knee. Too many laps, coach kept saying I had a bad attitude or looked at him funny. Sorry. Why are you apologizing? I don't care about that shit. I couldn't really get into it under that shitty coach anyway. I think I know why he rides his motorcycle alone in the mornings. But if he came to Kuja Mansion after a setback like that... Oh, fuck. It's seriously frustrating. He keeps up a string of swearing for a while. Anyone would act the same way. Anyone would swear up a storm but keep going down the same path anyway. Down this dark, uncertain road that only leads to death. We arrive at the forest by H Castle. I stop the car near where Shu says he saw the man, and we enter the forest. Hold the guideposts uh, on the path are faded, their paint feel peeling off. It looks hardly traversed, just as Shu and Master said. We walk a while until we come to a large arch 
making the start of a hiking trail. It's rusted over, and with the peeling paint, it doesn't seem to have been touched up. The letters are faded and, and are mostly illegible. Carefully reading it, it says, Welcome to the lush and romantic wood timberland. M U R D E R, huh? Tch, coincidence, that's all. It's just because it's way old and faded. Come on, old man, let's go already. We pass under the arc and enter the forest. It's a wooden table and benches. I peek underneath the table and find something stuck there found a worn-out talisman. When I pick up the worn-out talisman, I feel warmth flow through me. Got soul power. The worn-out talisman crumbles silently in my hand. It's a wooden trash container. I feel around inside a container, but nothing is inside. We continue down the path for a short while before we come across something unexpected. It's a grave marker. It was probably put there to honor those who commit suicide here. Might not be a bad idea to say a quick prayer for those who ended their suffering that way. It's a grave marker placed to honor suicide victims. Something's written in a magic marker. Say the opposite of the truth. You'll be followed. She was calls to cover how his face is deathly pale. You'll be followed? The hell's with that? Damn it, who scribbled dumbass graffiti? Just off to the side, I notice a faint trail. Discover the entrance to the beast trail. Looks like there's a pad over there, too. Hey, old man, try to keep up. The moonlight doesn't reach the beast trail that branches off the hiking trail, so we're in gloom. The trees are thick on both sides. We'd get lost if, we'd, if I didn't have a flashlight. Just then, there are footsteps close by on the bushes. Hold on, did you hear footstep too? I hear footsteps again. They seem to be getting closer. Then... M oh, what? A man appears from the bushes. He looks horribly exhausted. Don't stare at me like that. You shouldn't stand around in the dark. What are you doing? The man falls silent. I think he realized he already knows the answer. Masta did say this place is a famous spot for suicide. I just can't do it anymore. I work myself to the bone at a job I don't even want. And you just bring another man home. How dare you, the nerve. He holds his hand in his hands. Suddenly starts kicking a tree and yelling. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> fuck! A rapid stream of swear sort of words flows out of his mouth. He seems to be the type that goes crazy when he's upset. Hey, could you tell me? How much nerve do you have to have to do that, huh? Stop him, death invites death. I hear that voice again. Stop him? Does that mean I should dissuade him? If you've got something to say, just spit it out, you bastard!
would be bad if he went berserk here. I will just have to hear him out. But it seems the man mis misinterprets my silence. Oh, do you feel the same way? Of course you do. You're in here, in this forest after all. What did she think I was doing? Work myself sick, but stuck with it anyway, and for whose sake? I even bought her a purse on our anniversary last year. Damn it. Damn it. Then she goes and sees another man. The man curses the darkness. He's completely lost it. I should probably avoid any tactless interjection or flattery. Hey, you there. Was it me? What do you think? Clear this up for me. Did I do something wrong? What? The man's gaze darts around nervously. Then he murders quietly. Could it be that creepy guy? He checks around on full alert. Satisfied that no one's there, he returns speaking. I'm sure she'd just laugh if she heard I was dead. Hanging off her ass or lover. But when I think about it, you know, it's strange. Why do I have to make her happy when it causes me such pain? It's ridiculous. I'm done with it. No way am I gonna die for an idiot like that. That's right. I'm sure I can still... The man looks down at his feet, then glances up at me. We could still start over fresh, right? Yeah, I agree. I've lived this long, it's too late for me. I'll die sometime soon, even if it's not tonight. I'll endure it until then. I don't know what you've been through, but you should rethink it. Honestly though, you look like you'll be fine. His expression changes as if he's remembered something. I saw a strange man while I was wandering around out there. His body was covered with black splotches. You think he's sick? He kept staring at me. It was creepy. If you're heading back, be careful. A man covered in splotches. Mary brought up some rumors about a man like that. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. The name's Masao Kimura. If we ever meet again... The man scratches his hand and smiles a bit. Let me buy you a drink or something. Well, see you. We don't talk long with Masao Kimura before he leaves. Damn, what a pain in the ass. Guys like that should hurry up and die. The beast trail continues onward. Let's return to our investigation. Man at the brink of suicide. As we walk past the grave marker, an agitated man named Masaho Kimura appears. Once we get him to calm down, he calls off his plans to kill himself. Before he lives, he mentions seeing a man covered in dark splotches. I wonder if he's still around. We should keep moving.